we are taking a single element from the periodic table here I have picked lithium and these are some of the numbers and symbols that you will see in each of those boxes in a periodic table the first and most important number is the atomic number in this case it is 3 the atomic number tells you how many protons how many neutrons and how many electrons are present in an atom and using that you can actually write the electronic configuration draw the Bohr diagrams or the Lewis dot symbols the second part is the symbol that represents the element here for lithium Li is a symbol the third aspect you see here is the electronic configuration written using the quantum mechanical model of the atoms or using quantum numbers all periodic tables may not have it but this is what it means that the number of electrons in the valence shell is represented here the most important thing again is the relative atomic mass it's sometimes expressed as units or atomic mass units and here the number is 6.9 one. The relative atomic mass is not a whole number. It can be a fractional number. This is obtained by comparing lithium to a unit which we refer to as the atomic mass unit. And in this case it is 6.941 times heavier than the atomic mass unit. So these are the four important aspects you can see or you can read from the periodic table. The atomic number represented by the letter is Z or Z the symbol of the element, the electronic configuration, and the relative atomic mass, which is expressed in grams when you determine the molar masses. That's it for now. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.